Hello, and thank you for tuning in to episode 5 of Weathering Waves. Uh, for my American viewers, I hope you had a great 4th of July, Independence Day. Uh, I'm actually filming this right now on Independence Day, so if there's any, like, loud fireworks or anything in the background, I do apologize. I had a great dinner with my family myself, got some ribs and everything, so nice barbecue. Uh, but for now, let's get right into the game. Decided because I had a free uh, extra day this week, I would get uh, an additional episode. So look forward to this one being a little early, maybe Thursday, and then I'll have a regular episode coming out on Friday, just as normal. Probably going to record two of them both right now, but I digress. For now, let's get right back into it. So we are going to be finishing uh, some more of the story quest. So I was tracking that other detection beacon. But, honestly, before we do that, since we're so close to it anyway, I wanted to try and go to this resident nexus to activate a bit more of the map. So, we're going to kind of change plans just a little bit, and going to go try and find that. Now, I don't know if it will be easy or it might be hard. It, Good. It There's depends, no time to waste. But we will see. Ooh, is it right across water there? I might not be able to make it. Also, while I am gliding real quick, there were some issues, and I wanted to make sure. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch super resolution right there back to auto. Because I've been seeing some issues sometimes with some of my uh some of my glitches with visual quality. All right. <laughs> hmm? This puzzle. Magnetic cube, let's see. Follow the instruction on the track, attach the magnetic cube to move along the specified direction. When magnetic cubes reach the, okay. So. Okay, I think I see what I'm doing here. <laughs> well, alrighty. I will take... All yours. You're welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Anyway. <laughs> Holy shit. What is that thing? It's red. Nope. Nope. We are noping the fuck out of that. And nope. All right. I actually might not be able to make it. Wait, I don't want to use up my stamina. Um, I think this is the closest route. I think so. And if I swim faster, I'll probably use too much stamina. So I will probably fast forward this in the VOD.
Well, it looks like I made it. I guess I had enough stamina. So if people are over here, hello, 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 how are you? I wonder if there's like an actual way I was supposed to get here other than just swimming. Well, no matter. I would like to activate. Oh, thank you. Did that activate the map? Yes, it did. Interesting. No. Ah, oh, yeah, and perfect. That also healed me. Good. There's no time to waste. Interesting. this place is really supposed to be. Huh. Ah. Zap string. Oh yeah. It's our curtain call. Immediately. Yeah, what is this? Okay. I guess we'll probably find out in the story later. It is not letting me anywhere near it, which is somewhat unfortunate. Did I just get stuck? Okay, well, for now, there we go. Rest up slightly again, there we go. Okay. that doesn't count as a waypoint unfortunate let's see I might actually be able to make it up if instead of wall running I'm just slowly climbing Maybe not. <sighs> Dang it. I'll pay it back tenfold. Good. There's no time to waste. Well, I guess not then. Fast travel back there. And I've healed up again. So I guess we will go back to the quest. So track that. Yep. What is that? Ah. We'll fast travel to the Resonance Beacon. Alrighty. As well...
Oh, is it the monster? Is that what that is? Or maybe not. I thought that mini map icon was something. Wow. Good. There's no time to waste. Ooh, maybe I can just watch them fight. I'm kidding. I'll help the NPCs. Oh, are they actually all... I'm so sorry, I'm probably giving a bunch of people some motion sickness with how quickly I'm panning the camera around in some of these... Ah. Activate this one. Oh. Some of them I'm getting cutscenes, some of them I'm not. Kind of interesting. Oh, wow, that unlocked a big portion. Okay. So there's a lot. No, oh, there's one over there too I could have gotten. I was literally just over there. Ah. Oh. Anyway. All right. That's probably enough of my sidetracking. Already been going on for what? 10 or so minutes. So, let us get right back on track. I say that, but I saw. There's the beacon. Ooh. Encryption block. Okay, maybe later. Maybe later. Yeah, I know I just said let's get back on track, but here I am seeing. We have this settlement, this encampment here. I know I just saw... Yeah. I'm gonna track that real Good. quick. There's no time to waste. Ah, it's up there. Oh, well, thank you. Made it convenient for me. Oh, wow, it's this whole thing. Alright, well, hello there. I would like to activate you as well. is a big part of the map we can now kind of see so I say that but then I look holy guacamole there's a there's a lot of this map that I have not unlocked yet all right yeah it's already we're already in version at least at the time of the recording it's already uh, version 1.1 I haven't even finished the version 1 stuff mainly because I've been recording and playing it and if I'm going to be recording I try to make myself not a total slob because I'll be honest if I wasn't recording this if I was just playing it by myself I probably wouldn't care if I had like food on my shirt or something yeah <sighs> but so in a way I'm using my time by playing games like this while simultaneously not being a total slob by recording them I guess I don't know I don't know. Alright.
Let's let's actually So it's literally right there. Yeah, okay. It's already being tracked. I don't know why I keep going back there to be like, "Oh, I need to track this." Yes, fly. Let me fly. The thorns are blocking our path. Hmm. Ow, Weird. Ow. We'll have to clear them before we. Yes, vine trap. You say. And ex the explosive charge triggers a violent explosion if stimulated. After the utility is unlocked, you can use lever. Blah, 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 okay. Watch me, watch me oh, fail Oh, please be this. careful. They look sharp. Hmm, maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them. Watch me burn myself. That would be hilarious. Let's try not. And let us repair you. been repaired ah, and then of course this is exactly where they wanted us to go so I just skipped it I skipped it master Tianxing are you all right this is my first time on a battlefield it feels so different here staff about the current situation another cutscene I know kind another of. shipment of supplies has just arrived I've confirmed it but it's not nearly enough we must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately but the approval process is going to I don't care about the approval process tell them it's an emergency we are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers, and they are... Excuse me, one moment, please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. I think she's a little stressed. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry, have to answer this. Yes, what is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The oh, we just cut off the audio. Oopsie. The wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? I see what it is. It was one audio track, and they tried to split it so you could separate it, but they didn't fully split it. Whoopsie. What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Well, sure, leave it to us. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. 
Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for, to ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. All right, well, the wounded soldiers are here, so let's go check on them. Is there anything else around here that might be interesting? <gasps> yeah, she let me up here. Hi. Oh, I just jumped right over that. Hi. I'm right behind you. All right. Goodness, there's a military base and this close we have a monster. I don't know, that doesn't seem safe. Doesn't seem right. So wounded soldiers over there. I need to stop getting sidetracked, but this one doesn't have the red outline. And I mean it's so close to the base. Target confirmed. is in everything. Huh. Unleash the fans. Hello? Absorb? Auto Puppet Scout. Interesting. Huh. Huh. Give me some meat. Is there anything over around this corner? Goodness, why do we have enemies good. so close? There's no time to waste. That doesn't seem good to have enemies this close to the base, you know. Tear them to pieces. Ow! like a gate. Nope. Okay. Thought it was. Anything over there? Drip snail. Okay. Any y'all gonna do anything about that? I just easily got over your defenses. Okay. Well. Let us help some wounded soldiers. I keep hitting the wrong button and dodging when I don't need to dodge. Alright. Let's see how you are. Are you all right? No, obviously. Uh, I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. I, I seem to doubt that. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic. Hmm. 
you look even worse. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. Now is not the time for bravado. <sighs> That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medic should go take care of other people in need. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him still for me. Sure. Hello. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry, they've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. Well, they are our heroes. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? Let's follow. Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. I see this flashing. What's going on here? Is this something I can pick up or is... Okay. Never mind. It's just flashing. <laughs> Good. There's no time to waste. Before I go up there. Never really checked any of this when I activated that one earlier. Doesn't seem like there's like chests or anything, but oh, well, it I need to get used to that. I also seem to be causing too much extra movement. Feels like I'm just like moving too fast. Hello, hello, elevator. Yay! <laughs> Time to go to the upper levels. Yay! All right. Goodness. Never really got a good look at it when I was... Let me... Let me get a good look at it. That looks like a destroyed overpass, like a highway overpass. That's kind of cool. Makes me wonder if that plays more into the story of how uh, everything came along and suddenly made this post-apocalyptic world happen. Anyway, let's continue. Have you confirmed the inventory? What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, deliver this list to Asha. You're not Ewa. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. 
This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. Okay. Yes, you seem very busy. Do you need our help? I saw you help arrange the wounded there. Your show lamb would need your help more than I do. Thank you, but I must remain to oversee vital military supplies. Jinjo <laughs> is the gateway to Huanlong, and the Desert Rock Highland is the gateway to Jinjo. A single breach could have dire consequences. Our defense must hold at all costs. The tacit discords are not humans. They don't do truces or ceasefires. For as long as they exist, this war will rage on endlessly. Yeah, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing. But now we are facing a shortage. Jinjo is the gateway to Huanlong. The tacit disc supply is the lifeblood of our army, and I am tasked with keeping it flowing. But now we are facing a shortage. Okay. Ju Yen. So he never sent a letter home. Not even once. The Midnight Rangers are no longer recruiting non resonators lately. <laughs> Juyen was a stubborn boy. Last year, when the battles hadn't gotten so intense, he would trail us rear guards, eager to join the front line. Now, we sent him back to the city time and time again, and he just kept finding ways to come back. Eventually, I caved and took him in to help us here in the base. Oh, boy. With the battle escalating, it's getting increasingly dangerous out here. I shouldn't keep him here any longer. I was just thinking about having the logistics team bring him back to the city when you guys showed up. Oh, now I remember. He should be currently on the floor above. Okay. Sure. Please excuse me. I'll join you later. We'll be meeting up with you. What, what are you doing? Hold your hands up. Oh, <laughs> please excuse me. Thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? <laughs> you are, you are, you are scared. You are a little jumpy, my goodness. Oh, here's the fruit. Oh! I'm sorry, I thought that was a grenade. A grenade? It's a type of old-fashioned explosive. The lament caused a global technological regression and shortage of resources. While tacitite weapons were being developed, most people had limited knowledge of tacitite as an energy source. As a result, primitive products combining old and new technology emerged. The hand grenade was one of them. With the rapid growth of tacitite weapons, these crude explosives were eventually phased out in favor of more advanced weaponry. What do you know about the mangosteen? Well, it's not a local fruit, so we can only get it through imports. But with the recent tacit discord outbreaks, we've had to prioritize bringing in the essentials. We'll get back to importing more of these after General Jian makes his triumphant return. Currently, there's only one waterway open from Port Gunchao in the south of the city. Now, the rear guards would regularly go there to escort goods. Hmm, what more do I know? The military rarely buys this fruit for rations due to its short shelf life. Plus, it, it looks too much like a grenade, and uh, that could cause some issues. All right, fair enough. I guess you're maybe not the only one who thinks it looks like a grenade then. <laughs> Thank you, I guess. Okay. And... Uh, hello. How'd it go? Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhu Yan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. 
Well, I heard he didn't want to leave. Julian is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. Is... Am I seeing a battle in the background? The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Are they, are they dying? Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. I think, the mediocre sages I th gain I think enlightenment they're dying. in the bustling city. I do share some of Julian's Hello? feelings. However, Julian disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. I mean, maybe not necessarily on the battlefield, but he could participate in other military matters that could help, like bookkeeping or weapon supply and maintenance, things like that. I mean, not, not just in the game, but even in the real world, it's a huge organization. There's, there's tons of parts that need to be played. Everyone has a part to play. I too found what Jian said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. So you beat him up? I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? You pretended to lose? The shape changes, but not the forms. The more it moves, the more it yields. Less thinking, more knowing. Simplify for clarity. Yes, I pretended to lose. But Julian saw it through. After our fight, Julian admitted he saw the gap between resonators and ordinary people. He seemed to realize how he was still far from being able to fight the tacit discords. He realized how he was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his Ooh. own limitations. Fighting on the battlefield requires physical and mental strength. And he was not yet prepared for that. Well, I guess it is a good thing I have a backup power supply. I just lost power for a quick moment there. I guess maybe someone was having a bit too fun on the 4th of July and uh, maybe hit a power line with a firework. I would not be surprised based on where I live. But it looks like it came back on. Thankfully, my lights and everything are on that backup power supply, but... We'll see. Might have to cut this episode short, but I do want to try and keep each episode around an hour. But that was a little weird. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. All right. Farewell. Probably meet her again at that tea house. Okay. Y'all, y'all okay over here? I saw that battle that was happening. Everyone make it out alive? <sighs> Maybe. Actually, I kind of want to watch. I wonder if they can just take care of it on their own. It is interesting how I'm getting the rewards. And I can just take the echo too? Oh, y'all are so generous. A little bit of a frame drop there for a second. Interesting. 
If I attract y'all. Surrender your stuff. Good. There's no time to waste. Oh. Oopsie. Yeah, come here. <laughs> Good. There's no time to waste. <laughs> I can't believe this. Wow. And you're just going to let me have all the rewards from that. Oh, thank you. Alright. Alright, sorry, Yang Yang. I will come back. I'm coming back. Running into Master Tianxing was a one-off incident. If the Mangosteen indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? That civilizations are born from war and suffer from war. Perhaps she wants me to meet someone. Perhaps the moment hasn't arrived yet. She's just giving me a chance to do a certain thing. Maybe I'm dumb. But I haven't a clue. Um. Sure. Let's go with the deep, somewhat philosophical answer that might not be deep or philosophical. Because once again, I may be dumb. Have you thought of something, Rover? I think. Yeah, the route of transportation. So, Madam Magistrate wants to tell us something about the magazine's route of transportation? Yeah. The Quartermaster said the magazines are transported by boat from the south. Yep. We haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. I hope they're okay. Food. Food. Mm -hmm. It's happening again. The thing is happening. Oh, what is going on? Holy sweet mother of Jesus. Is someone creating them? Oh. Ooh, there he General. is. So we get to play as him. By the Oopsie. Time. Probably help if I knew how to use him. Tell truth from the side. Finale. Okay, so is that what his skills do? Holy mother of God, that is a big one. Tell truth from the side. What is wrong with that camera? Huh. The camera just did that. 
Holy mother of God. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm ready for that. Fear no more. I don't think I'm ready for this. From the side. I don't think I'm ready for this. Retreat to advance. Oopsie. Yeah, I don't think I'm ready. Bide the time. Settled. Wind Rider. Yeah, I do not think Tell I was ready for this battle. Especially not with the combat knowledge that I have about this game. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to dodge that, but I'm not able Wind to. Wind Rider. Because I'm not hitting the buttons quick enough. That's not good. That's not good. That's Don't not good. Don't worry. Fuck. I couldn't dodge. It won't... It's taking too much stamina to let me dodge. Come on. Let me... Let me just do this. Break. Love of everything holy. Just let me... Just let me do this. Just let Tell me do this. There. Unstoppable. Okay, come on. There you go. There you go, you Die, 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 die. Get back here. Oh, you motherfucker. Fear no more. No. Retreat to advance. I am not a advanced combat player. I just like good stories, open world exploration, stuff like that. I don't know what I signed up for with this game. Dear Lord, just no. Unstop. There's a reason I stay away from Dark Souls type games. But you know, I saw this game and thought, well, I heard the combat was a little hard. But you know, I'd like it. Maybe. I don't know. But here I am, kind of like trying to figure out how to do the home. Oh Actually, that was kind of fun. I don't necessarily know if I'm the best at uh, mouse and keyboard. What's the matter? Are you all right? Uh, no. I just struggled against what I assume is an early game version boss. Um. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I might. Just reaching over. I'm not. At least not for the this episode but I do have an actual controller so I may end up using that or at least trying to use it who knows but otherwise it just sits there on the charging dock not in use but for now let's let's continue just with this I I had a vision I may have resonated with a tacit discord. Let's go with I had a vision. That seems like much more profound. Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. Oh my goodness. Our main character is speaking. That doesn't happen in these games. Oh, um, describe the general in Teal first. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Tinglong. The Tinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Tian, the leader of all Midnight Rangers. Ah, so he's your boss. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. Yeah, but, um, I've never met him. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tien was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. Yeah, but something, something's not right. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you, though we have no idea what it is. 
There's something inside of me. Two wolves. Now, um... Resonate with tacit discords? Maybe I can. Ooh, another cutscene. Oh, uh, maybe not. It's hard to tell sometimes if it's a cutscene or if it's just somewhat cinematic animations. Rover? According to Baiju, the leaf showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. Oh, so I just got superpowers, and that huh? that is... Teacher Village in the Central Plains. Act... Hong Long 1, Act 2, complete. Okay. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, Rover... No, send me yes. I like I like this character. Okay. How about training? Let's see. Basic training. Wow. Just as I was struggling, they show me here's what you need. We're gonna beat the combat training skills into you. Okay. So dodge outro skills. Skill training. Ah, so it can help you master all the characters that are currently available. Well, that is certainly nice. And you get these. <sighs> Alright. New weapon, C. What is this new weapon? Yang Yang gets a new weapon. Okay, I see. Switch. Is it not going to show me the weapon it wants me to switch her to? Specifically? Okay. Well. Okay. Oh, there's a whole nother page. You know, it's a real, uh, real struggle of mine. I just like getting rid of those, uh, red check marks. Honestly, even if I know that they, I just, I just like getting rid of them. I don't like seeing them on my screen. So. Anyway. Yeah, let's continue to the village. Wait. Shit. Yeah, sorry about that. Let's just real quick. There we go, a quick heal, just in case. Since I know we can get a heal in there. Oh. Getting distracted again, but I see shiny. I see shiny, is that something of importance? Maybe. Good, there's no time to waste. Shiny? Shiny? No. Let me... Do I need to destroy it? No, inspect. All yours. You're welcome. Oh, I'm sorry. I just stole your camping gear. It's a mini bomb. Oh my goodness, it's a mini bomb. <laughs> I wish it did more damage though. broken down little bridge road thing over here good 
There's no time to waste. What is this thing? Do I attack it? Is there weather in this game? I think this is my first time experiencing this. There's weather in the game. Does the does the water like the rain affect things like climbing? That would that would be irritating, but cool. Wow. I guess I have not played this game long. Well, I guess this is technically only the fifth hour of gameplay, technically, spread across several days, but interesting. Oopsie. Did not mean to activate that. Oopsie daisy. Alright, I remember I thought it's on the map, maybe. Oh, I guess not. I thought I saw one of these uh resonance tiny resonance beacons that was near here that I could have activated, but I guess not. So is this village like this must be the place. Did it get like demolished? I sensed destroyed? something ominous from the leaf back there. But I couldn't pinpoint its source. And now, the hatred and pain is so strong in this place. I don't even need to concentrate to feel it. Rover, something terrible must have happened here. We what? have to be cautious. This is a tacit field. Let's take out those tacit discords first. Seen as it looks like the remains of what was once a vibrant village, uh, yeah, I could I could definitely feel maybe hate emanating from this place Maybe if I don't know all those people lost their houses their lives their jobs You know probably probably a little bit of hate Granted they may be hate from the dead, but okay. What who huh? Tacit field special bonus each tacit field has a unique special buff the tacit field located in the central plains periodically generates a concerto energy sphere which recovers concerto energy and deals aoe damage after you cast intro skill try to read that in a cool voice because it sounded right but i don't know if that did sound right who knows <laughs> oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy Ooh. Target confirmed. Oh goodness! So this is timed. You. Man. I've had enough. Get lost. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh no, no, it's not over. It's not over. Target confirmed. You are not done. You're not Leave done. To me. We are not done. Tear them to pieces. Zap strength, the stage is yours. Target confirmed. Unleash the fans. Tear them to pieces. Target confirmed. Tear them to pieces. Bloom. Target confirmed. Is it over? No? Maybe? I think I did it, guys. I think I did it. Oh my gosh! I did it! <sighs> okay. So, uh... Well, first... Hello? Okay, maybe I'll find... It seems like it's bugged. I feel like that's supposed to be an enemy that I fight. Good. There's no time to waste. Anything else up here? Good. There's no time to waste. 
No, no, I'm playing video games. I have a lot of time to waste, actually. Okay. Yeah, let's just continue with this. Purify. One I think act I found three. something, okay. Rover. Investigate. Good. Relocation. There's no time to waste. Ah, I see. Okay. Watch out. I did see on Twitter sometimes that people were like, oh, the voice acting is a little weird. That watch out, no offense, but that was super weak. <gasps> watch out. Like, oh. <sighs> Something's not right. Why wouldn't it attack us? <sighs> Brother. Yeah, this is a new tactic, or maybe uh, someone got turned into it. Maybe that's what the uh, people that we saw in that other cutscene, they're turning humans into tacit discords. Oh my gosh. Theory crafting in my head. Um, okay, let's... Brother. Br brother. Help. Who is your brother? Help. It seems to only repeat these lines. This is not a common tacit discord. Ah, so it's a human turned into a tacit discord that has PTSD. Theory crafting. Tacit discords attack other living beings because they need to feed on those frequencies to make themselves whole again. When frequencies are scattered and recombined, a new tacit discord is born. This one probably devoured the frequencies of humans. Oh, well, never mind. Okay. Turning the last bits of a human's consciousness into such monotonous mumbles. Are these words the last cries of someone innocent? Who is behind this twisted plot? I'm sorry. Are you talking to it? No, that's beyond my ability. I just sensed some complex feelings from it. A mixture of deep sadness and eager anticipation. Rover, I think I know what's going on here. Well, simply go ahead, explain. For the dumb people in the room, like myself. It seems to be begging for help, but it's not asking us to help it. I can sense the pained cries of this tacit discord. No, the cries of this whole village. The village is crying, waiting for rescue. Something truly awful must have happened here, and the victim's reverberations still linger. Based on the evidence we've found and the condition of these ruins, that didn't happen all too long ago. I can still feel it in the streams. Perhaps the tacit field has kept this village from being discovered. Or maybe someone has been intentionally concealing it. Anyway, there must be something we can do. We may find the victims nearby. I can feel someone connected to what happened here is still close. This place is dangerous. I'll inform Chusia about what happened here. Can we continue our search before the official investigators arrive? Yeah, I'm totally down for continuing to search. Make sure you send out that information uh, ASAP. Please let everyone know. Uh, come on. Sorry. I know it doesn't sound very convincing. It's just a hunch of mine, and I don't have any evidence to back it up. No, no, I, I believe you. This is where the token pointed to, so... Thank you, Rover. Please stay vigilant. I mean, I've, uh, after everything we've seen. As for the little one here... Let's leave it be. Okay. Yeah, let's see. And what's here? The area is a mess. But it doesn't look like a war zone. Someone was hurt and dragged away. Look, 
There are many footprints here. These are traces left by a fight. Someone was injured. Hmm. And then one more over here. Ritualistic wooden plaques. Then why are they here? These plaques are usually placed in ancestral shrines. And they seem to belong to a different time. I remember reading about something like this. People held large-scale ancient rituals periodically in their villages, driven by certain beliefs. I see. Let's check somewhere else. Hmm. Okay. These cards. Ah, uh, I see. The Fraxidus is likely behind it all. The what? The Fractin what and what? Huh? The Fraxidus? Yeah, that. Yes. I don't know much about the Fraxidus, but as an outrider, I've worked on related cases. It's a group of extremists obsessed with fusing humans with tacit discords. They've caused terror attacks of various scales around the world. So it's a bunch of mad scientists. Got it. Fusing humans and tacit discords. Yep, bunch of mad scientists. We've seen signs of their presence in Jinzhou, left by lower-ranked members called artificers. Hmm. Above the artificers are the overseers, Leaders with eerie abilities and unknown intentions. They pose a far bigger threat. No one knows their true intentions. Some members speak of world destruction, while others claim they seek eternal power. And there is one particularly insane overseer. He's crazy even by Fraxida's standards. A man who sees no order and revels in destruction. I've seen similar cards in the physical evidence file of the Fraxidus related cases. They belong to this one overseer I'm talking about. They call him... Scar. If he's responsible for what happened to these villagers, who knows what kind of cruel and twisted atrocities he's capable of. Uh-oh. Investigate weird noises? I don't like that. And y'all won't like it either. Because that is going to be the end of this episode right here. So, thanks so much for joining in. Uh, it's been definitely a lot more intriguing. The story is picking up, so that is very exciting for me. Uh, once again, still debating about whether I switched a controller or not. But... Uh, we'll have to see later what that'll do. Uh, so for now, I'm going to end this episode. Uh, hopefully, this gets posted <laughs> on the 5th of July. And if this does get posted on the 5th of July, do also look forward to another episode coming out uh, on the 6th of July regularly on a Friday like they normally do. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to be recording more after this. But for this episode right here, I'm going to call that it. Uh, if you liked it, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. Any little bit helps for me getting on the journey to at least a thousand subscribers. I always like to stare. But once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>